My name is Donna Lamb Neptune and N-E-P-T-U-N-E. I am Christopher's mom. My whole world has been turned upside down. Chris was my baby, my son, my only child. This past Sunday was the third Mother's Day. I haven't got his call. Happy Mother's Day, Mom. I have not heard my son's name mentioned in this courtroom in three years. So I want to say it out loud. Christopher Allen Rookie. I have tried to put on paper words to describe Chris, but none seem good enough. The word that keeps coming to mind is perfect. Chris was a perfect baby, a perfect little boy, a perfect teenager. Chris grew up across the street from the South Portland Maine Boys and Girls Club. He was a permanent fixture there. Basketball, foosball, pool. It was hard just to get him to come home for meals. He always played fair and had so much respect for all people he encountered. Christopher's love for baseball started very young. He played throughout his school years and his, his teammates were still his close friends and stayed in touch right up until he was violently murdered in cold blood. Three years ago, on May 2nd, at 5 o'clock p.m., Chris graduated high school and went to Springfield College where he majored in sports management. Upon graduating college, he got his first job in his hometown with the Portland Sea Dogs, a minor league team for the best Boston Red Sox. Chris used to say there's nothing he loved more than going to work at a baseball park. One year with the Sea Dogs, and then he was off to Oklahoma where he spent a year with the Towson Drillers. It was here he received a call from a new team that would be starting up in Ohio, the Akron Heroes, now the rubber duckies. This is where he met his wife, Rachel. I knew then Ohio would be his permanent residence. He became part of a wonderful family, the Blankenships. I was happy because they treated and loved him like their very own from the very beginning. After five years and two children later, Chris went to work for the Cleveland Indians. He began a new position there as authenticator of game used merchandise. He spent 15 years with the Indians. However, the pandemic changed everything. The stadium was shut down and Chris began searching for other work. He was not one to sit back. He started driving for Lyft. He seemed to really enjoy this newfound freedom of making his own schedule. You see, he had been coaching his, his little girl since she was eight years old as a softball pitcher. He was a big part of her high school team, and now he was able to attend all of her games. I worried excessively while Chris was driving for Lyft. I was aware of the danger on the streets. I remember Chris called me one night to say, Mom, I think I saved someone's life today. I said, what do you mean? He said, I picked up an elderly lady who was contemplating suicide. He got her talking and laughing. And when she got out of his car, she asked if she could give him a hug and thank him. My love for Chris is unmeasurable. The emptiness I feel can never be filled. The joy I once knew is gone. 
I miss the person I once was, Christopher's mom. There are no words I can describe the grief of losing a child. It is a never-ending nightmare. Even worse, it is the painful thoughts of your child being murdered so violently. Chris was strapped in his seatbelt and couldn't escape. This cold-blooded killer fired multiple shots, three of which hit my son. This vision is in my mind morning, noon, and night. Three years of counseling, medication has not stopped the painful thoughts. I think of his last half hour of his life and how he knew he was dying. And I could not be there to help him. Chris missed so much these last three years. His daughter's promenade, her graduation, his son's newfound love of volleyball, his son's graduation, his daughter's first day off on the pitcher's mound at Bucknell College. Maddie believes the monarch butterfly is her sign that dad is with her. Before she threw her first perch pitch, a monarch butterfly flew right in front of her. So I guess dad did see her. Her dream was to watch her play Division I softball at college. Chris called me the night before he was murdered. He told me what a wonderful day the family had. Maddie had a doubleheader and how many strikes she had thrown. They were tired, and even though they were asked to go out to dinner with neighbors, they decided to just stay in and order pizza for the evening. I, I once again at the end of that conversation, it lasted longer than usual, almost an hour. I turned to Ron and said, he doesn't seem to want to stop talking. I begged him at the end of the conversation, please, Chris, find some other work than driving for Lyft. I told him there were so many crazy people out there and people are being shot every day. I knew this evil demon was out there. Let's say I had a premonition. I knew my son was gonna be shot. The very next day, my son met up with this evil, cold-blooded killer, Carlisle Pohl, was fired from his Taco Bell job, and police had to be called because of his anger and behavior when he was fired. The next day, he calls for a ride to Taco Bell. The detective told me Carlisle was out to kill someone that day. He believes it was the manager. Chris was sent to give Carlisle that ride. However, I know my son knew when he picked up this man what he was up to, and that was no good. So my son pulled over his car after just two blocks into this ride. And I know he told this person Get out, I am not taking you there. Chris was a sitting duck when Carlisle shot him multiple times. My son was a hero. If Carlisle had gotten to that Taco Bell, there'd be at least five dead people. Five shots from what I was told was fired. 19 years is not justice. This demon should be locked up for life. Evil like this cannot be rehabilitated. Carlisle never knew my son except for that two block ride. Carlisle's anger cannot be cured. If he is ever let out of prison, someone else will become his victim. In closing, I just want to say that is said when a baby's soul comes to earth, he has picked his parents, and I'm so proud and honored that my son, Christopher Allen Rookie, picked me to be his mom. <laughs>